Wales players withdraw strike threat for Saturday's Six Nations clash with England after reaching a compromise with WRU bosses on contractual issues. But captain Ken Owen still labels his country the laughing stock of world rugby. Wales will face England on Saturday after their players withdrew a threat to strike for the Six Nations game and captain Ken Owens declared his country the laughing stock of world rugby. Sportsmail first revealed last week that Warren Gatlin stars were considering a strike for the England match in protest at the both the contractual and financial uncertainty in their homeland. Seven days after the senior Wales squad laid down a series of demands to their bosses in order for a strike to be avoided, a compromise was reached on Wednesday night at the 11th hour. On yet another tumultuous day in what has been one of Welsh rugby's biggest ever crises, all of the country's home-based players met with the game's power brokers. On Wednesday, it was agreed that we are obviously happy. There has been huge frustration and it is disappointing it got to this stage, said Owens, as he and Welsh rugby union chief executive Nigel Walker fronted a press conference on Wednesday night at the Vale Hotel. We felt we had to make a stand, but the conversations that have taken place have shown some positive resolutions can be found. If we can continue to do that, we won't end up in a position like this in the future. The players are satisfied, hence why the game is on Saturday. Hopefully, we don't end up here again. We are looking forward to getting out there on Saturday and going toe-to-toe with England. Of course it has been a distraction with everything that has been going on. Welsh rugby can't keep going on this merry-go-round of crisis after crisis because it is affecting everyone in the game. We need to pull together now and find the best way forward. We need to do it together to put Welsh rugby at the top end of world rugby and not the laughing stock, which I think we are at the moment. Wales players threaten to strike for the England game because the WRU and its four regions have yet to officially sign a new six-year funding agreement. It meant that the 90 players who are out of contract at the end of the season could not be offered new deals. Sportsmail revealed the worry of that uncertainty led to one Wales squad member to take antidepressants during this year's Six Nations. Now, after forcing the WRU into concessions on the 60-cap rule and the fixed variable contracts, Welsh-based players who are soon out of contract hope they will be offered new ones imminently. We recognize we need to start offering contracts to players who are concerned about their futures, said Walker. The regions agreed to do that with the PRB. We are moving forward and there is some good news, but you don't have to have an absolute crisis before you can deliver good news. The WRU has certainly been in crisis so far in 2023. The whale strike threat came on the back of the governing body being hit by a sexism and misogyny scandal which led to the resignation of Steve Phillips as chief executive. Now, somehow, Welsh rugby must start to try and look forward. All is now not rosy in the garden because a strike has been averted. It is understood the bosses of the four Welsh regions, Dragons, Cardiff, Ospreys and Scarlets, have now received sight of the documentation of the new six-year funding model. However, the budgets being allocated to the regions under the current proposals from the WRU will not allow them to rival the best teams in Europe whatsoever. There remains work to be done there. I'll let other people decide whether we are a laughing stock, Walker said. It's been an unedifying period for us, there are no two ways about it. It is my job over the next six months to make sure we're not having conversations like this in the future. The important thing is we've had some robust conversations over the last week. The relationship between Ken and I has not been affected. I understand totally the position the players were in and we as the PRB shouldn't have put them in that position. Once you recognize you put them in a difficult position and they've responded the way they've responded, you know you've got something wrong. We are going to make sure we don't get into this position again. We've announced to the wider playing group in Wales that contracts will start to be offered next week. WRPA Chairman and Dragons Wing Ashton Hewitt said progress has been made. We have had significant contractual concerns and have compromised on all the points raised. Now it's important all players in Wales can have contracts put in front of them which provide certainty. There is still a bit of work to do. An opos.